I'm remaking this short film about what made the collapse of the World Trade Center buildings so unique. Unlike TV, we can do updates with new and better information from you, the viewers. There's a lot of smart folk out there with years of engineering wisdom. So here goes. Of course, there were lots of alternative theories of what happened on that fateful day. But let's look at the evidence and work out together what happened. When the World Trade Center complex was built, business demanded open plan offices. To satisfy this need, a building construction technique was adopted of central lift shafts with floors being hung from this support. The outer wall is purely a shell. The World Trade Center was not a popular building when it was being built. The New York Port Authority were concerned about fire and even aircraft collisions back in the 1970s. On September the 11th, 2001, after two aircraft hit the main World Trade Center buildings, fires and debris buried the bottom few floors of Building 7, which is just north of the Twin Towers. Building 7 stayed upright for seven hours after the World Trade Center main buildings were hit. Fires raged on 10 floors. The main building structure comes from steel. Steel is incredibly strong and melts at 2,750 degrees Fahrenheit. But the key structural strength of steel is compromised at only 425 degrees Fahrenheit, where it begins to soften. By 650 degrees Fahrenheit, steel has lost half its strength. A conventional fire can easily reach 400 to 600 degrees Fahrenheit. Eventually, a steel beam on floor 13 lost its connection with the upper floor. What followed was a progressive collapse. Helpful YouTube viewers point out that the National Institute of Standards and Technology NIST did make some small errors in their calculations, but their collapse scenario seems correct. They describe how thermal expansion of key structural members led to a progressive collapse, i.e. the steel bent. I think what confuses people is that they assume buildings are incredibly strong. Castles. But in fact, this building and the World Trade Center was incredibly light. The reason behind this is because of the open plan office structure. Seven World Trade Center and the Twin Towers were steel frame buildings. In other skyscrapers, the structural support is concrete or a combination of concrete beams and steel frames. In 2001, a total collapse of a tall building due to fire was new. However, in January 2017, a steel frame high-rise in Tehran caught fire, and it too collapsed to the ground. In London, the Grenfell building experienced a serious fire in 2017, without collapsing. It gave 9-11 conspiracy believers a new talking point. But what was the difference? Grenfell Tower is a concrete building. The building's construction is critically important to its performance in a long fire. So this comparison is misleading. The same miscomprehension is true 
in what happened at the Pentagon. People said no aircraft was found, but you need to understand how aircraft are built. The outer skin of commercial aircraft is one millimeter thick, just strong enough to hold the pressurized air inside the cabin at altitude. The whole aircraft is like a pressurized can of soda. When it hits the ground, it disintegrates. Here is a key fob made from Boeing 737 skin. Interestingly, when you first enter an aircraft, you often see how thick the door is. Aircraft manufacturers use up to one quarter inch thick aluminum around the door structure. This is to protect the vulnerable door area from rough ground handling. But also I think it's rather reassuring for passengers who are led to believe planes are built like tanks. Thank you to everyone who made constructive comments. I hope we are getting nearer to what really happened. And remember, the truth is out there.